<laughs> uh, I'm Caitlin, and I should say up front that I used to be a preschool teacher, so I'm not trying to sound condescending, I just talk like this. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Thank you, that is the right amount of response. <laughs> woo! <laughs> Um, I have an older brother, uh, his name is Travis, but he's very smart for someone with the name Travis. <laughs> My brother Travis has a superpower. I truly believe that he has a superpower. I actually believe that everybody has a superpower, and don't worry, I haven't seen like too many Marvel movies and gone totally insane. What I mean is that I believe that every single person in this room, in Edinburgh, in the world, has one little thing that they are better at than every other person in the world, and that's their superpower. What evidence? Thank you. Good question. Thank you for asking. <laughs> uh, a good example of this would be Olympic athletes like Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps. They're the best at their sport. That's their superpower. Weirder example would be Guinness World Record holders. Like there's this guy named Kevin Shelley who won the record for the most toilet seats broken over his head in a minute. <laughs> I know we're all wondering, it's 46, and yes, he is married. <laughs> there's also a guy named Yosef Toddling who won the record for the longest distance dragged by a horse while on fire. <laughs> 500 meters. <laughs> Pretty badass though, that's a legitimate superpower. And guys, we can't forget about Seb Prouse. Seb Prouse won the record for collecting the most unwanted copies of Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code. <laughs> 115 copies. And he did this, by the way, to raise awareness for his bookstore's new product line, Books Not by Dan Brown. <laughs> So my brother Travis, he's not a Guinness World Record holder, he's not an Olympian, but he does have a superpower, and it is pointing. He's the world's best pointer outer. And here's his origin story. A couple years back, we were hiking outside of Mount Rainier in Seattle, and he pointed at something in the distance. I saw it immediately. I took this picture. Now, he's not here to point, so I'll just quickly say, he was not pointing at the deer. He was not pointing at the deer. I was pointing at Hitler in the mountain. <laughs> Hitler in the mountain! Hitler in the mountain. Hey, so is my brother Travis, world's oh best boy. Thank you. Yes, give it up for Travis. Now, I don't know what my own superpower is, but uh, one of the weirder things that I like to do is I like to photograph bathroom style graffiti art. I've been doing this for about eight years now, so without further ado, here's a song that is entirely composed of lyrics from bathroom stalls all around the world. And please bear in mind that these are mostly ladies' bathroom stalls, because mostly I am a lady. <laughs> Since writing on toilet walls is done, neither for critical acclaim, nor financial reward, it is the purest form of art. This for a good time, call your mom. She's a great lady. She prays you. She wants to hear from you to make sure you're. Someone wrote, fuck off, people should bring you flowers. Jenna's <laughs> 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 back. <laughs> so you hate it when your boyfriend shits at your place and you have to go right after. Those you know when he did, you have to pretend. Sad face. All I'm saying is it's would look much better frame between my legs. <laughs> the earth without art is just <laughs> The world does not benefit from you hiding your badassery. It don't matter your past mistakes, you are worthy of love. Women are so supportive. <laughs> But then right next to it, someone wrote, What about Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> what about 